going up against this Cleveland rush attack? Just kind of, uh, what do you need to do to try to at least contain uh, runners like Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt? Uh, one of the first things to stopping a, a great run offense is having a good edge. So um, first level with our defensive ends, second level with the linebackers, and third level with the DB. So if you have an edge, we have a chance. Can you take anything away from what you were able to do last week? Because you were able to kind of contain the Ravens at least for a little bit, there, mm -hmm. especially on the ground. Yeah, um, it's a different it's a different style of run game. Um, with the Ravens, there's a lot of misdirections, um, different different bodies moving, quarterback included in the run game. With Cleveland this this um, this week, you know they have two good running backs, um, great offensive line, a lot of gap schemes, a lot of pullers. So we got to make sure that we really gap sound and like I said, defending the edge on those type of runs. How confident are you guys that you can kind of clean up some of the? big plays that happened and hurt you last week? Um, we're very confident, man, that it, it wasn't a lot of big plays. Just um, unfortunately, the big plays that happened, they ended in points. Uh, so we just have to, I feel like we did a good job cleaning, cleaning that up and getting an understanding of what we need to do in certain situations with our defense. So um, as far as the run game, you know, we got, we got to go in, you know, with our, with our big boy pads on because we know they're going to run the ball. Cleveland's always been a team that's going to run the ball first and then make throw big plays at the, on the back end. So we just got to do our job in the front seven and let the back end work. When you're transitioning from defending a quarterback who's obviously <coughs> extremely mobile to a guy who's more in the pocket, what, what's the toughest part about that and what's the most important thing to do? Um, really, you don't, you don't try to put it together. Uh, like I said, those two different types of offense. Um, Cleveland is not really a, a RPO, not really a quarterback run type team. You know, Brisket can run if you need to, but that's not really his MO. So for us, we got to go in um, thinking, you know, first, second down, be ready to run. And if we can't stop the run on first and second down, it's going to be a long day. So we got to try to get in the third and long and make them throw the ball. How much does the – you guys have two guys at quarterback who played really well last week. How much does that help when you're trying to stop the run? Uh, to say the first part again. You, you guys had – your cornerbacks did really well last week. So how much does, when your cornerbacks are playing well, how much does that help when you're trying to stop the run? Uh, well, we want to do our best to keep them out of the run game. So right. if they're making a lot of tackles, <laughs> something's going on. But, um, you know, as far as them, you know, covering on the back end and, and when they were, were in position to make, make tackles, um, you know, they, they did a great job. So um, some of the best defense have some of the best tackles at corner. So, um, you know, with Ahmad and, and with DJ, when the ball does get on the edge, you know, we're going to hope they get them down and, and of course, get, get the ball off of them. But uh, we got a lot of confidence in our guys on the field. You did a lot of good things defensively last week. Is it just eliminating the middle mistakes? Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. Uh, you want to try your best to be 100% always. Um, a few of those things were, were on communication issues. Some were just, just being in the wrong spot at the wrong time. So um, whether it's in, in between those two or, you know, just guys being in the right spot, it's got to do our best to try to be perfect. When you have, you said you're talking about communication issues, is it just because it's early on in the season or things like that? Um, I mean, for, for last week, it was, it was more just guys being in the right spot. But, you know, um, it can always vary. We just want to try to do our best to stay ahead of the offense. And, you know, that, and we can always control that by talking before um, pre-snap. Jeff was saying he thinks Quan unhinges this defense or unlocks it. Um, I guess, do, do you feel like that's accurate? And, and, you know, what do you feel he brings? Um, I say it's accurate. I would say more he, he unhinges, unlocks the players. Um, you know, he just has that, that style. He has that the motivation within himself. You know, every time you talk to him out and ask him a question, he said it's legendary. So he has a way of rubbing off on people the right way and wanting want to get the best out of himself and out of his teammates. How is it legendary? What's a, is there an example that comes to mind? Um, when you see him, ask him how you're doing. Is, is he here? He ain't over there. All right. I could have given you a perfect <laughs> example. But you should just say, ask him if you're having a good morning. He's going to tell you it's legendary. So. <laughs> Why is it important to have, like, energy guys like Quan Alexander on the defense? This is a long season, that's why. <laughs> but um, but no, uh, he's been in this system, uh, been in this defense. He's been around some of the players here and the coaches. So, I mean, every, everything he brings to the table is positive. Um, we get on the field, he's making plays, he's making big hits, getting turnovers, getting the ball. So, I mean, why wouldn't you want a teammate like that? So, I mean, we're glad to have him.